In the words of Jacqueline Salem, you guys, it's Vlogmas. Good morning! Happy December 1st! I'm going to be opening the first day of Advents today. So, I just opened up all my advent calendars and my camera was not recording. So, I'm going to pretend to open them again for you. Oh, my goodness, go figure, day one. First we have the Lofty Loops advent calendar, which is my hand dyed yarn. And people who received the advent got a little card with a fun little message on the back, as well as a little notions pouch with a fun logo and design on there. So totally custom. I love how they turned out. But let's get to the yarn. Day one is a beautiful speckled blue. Oh my goodness. And I did not name any of my colorways. I'm having a fun contest over on Instagram, so make sure to head on over there and check it out if you'd like to help me name these. The second one is blush yarns and today's colorway is super stunning and it is candied apple and oh my goodness look how beautiful that is. Such a pretty pinky red with those speckles. Oh god I love speckles. The next one is from the Fiber Fox and today's color is pear tree. And again, another stunning, stunning color. Look at that. Pale greens with some golden green speckles. Holy cannoli. Knocking it out of the park, day one. Oh, and then I dropped my Sweet Sparrow yarns. And this is Frozen Ocean on her Swift base. So Julie always includes a mixture of ba bases, which I think is really fun. Uh, but this is her Swift base, and that is another stunning color. And last but not least, we've got the Grenouille Some yummy tea. So I'll be drinking that later. We love the teas. And then this is Lavender. And Oh my goodness, look at the depth of that color. So pretty. I don't think I can pick a favorite. They're all flipping stunning. What a fantastic day one. So excited to get these caked up and into projects. And the Blush Yarns Advent Calendar also included this adorable project bag from Mountain State Stitches. So how cute is that? Look at those little deer and those little coffees. Love it.
Hey, I've just gone for a quick half hour walk uh, over my lunch break and I'm sweating. It's another hot one outside today. That's so bizarre. This is so unlike Nebraska. It's so, so weird. Um, so now I need to find something quick for some lunch before I have to log back on at work. Um, you will have seen I got some more progress on my woolen berries done during some work meetings this morning. That's my favorite part of being work from home, honestly, is the ability to knit while I'm in meetings. Um, I'm one of those people where I don't really have to, as long as it's stock knit, I don't have to really think about what I'm doing. My hands just move and it actually helps me focus on what's being said in the meeting when I have my hands moving. So um, I really love the ability to do that. Um, Oh, Mew Mew, we got someone that wants to say hello. Are you wanting to say hi? Yes, because you love when Mama's talking to the camera. Come here. Where's your face? Where's your face? Oh, there's a pretty girl. I <laughs> also received some fun mail that I thought I'd share because it's relevant. One-handed, I guess. Uh, I ordered another issue of Nine, the Iowa and Nebraska Nomadic Knits magazine. Uh, earlier this year, they released this issue and I'm actually featured in it as a dyer from Nebraska. Um, I had some family come in earlier this year and I actually sold my personal copy, or not sold, I, I, <laughs> I actually gave away my personal copy uh, to a family member for them to have and so now I'm replacing mine. But you can see these beautiful socks here. Uh, those are knit using Kindred, which is a one of my colorways. Oh, thank you, Jazzy. You're so helpful. Uh, the Sandhill socks were created by Lisa K. Ross. And so, yeah. But I love this issue. I shared it quite a while ago um, on a podcast episode when I first got it in, but highly recommend. I actually just finished. Oh my goodness, Jazzy, you were so helpful. I just finished one of the Husker hats, so it looks exactly like this. Using some Lazy Bee yarn, who is another dyer uh, from Nebraska, actually here in Lincoln. So yeah, I just had to pick up an extra copy so I could replace the one I gave away. Um, but grab it if you can, because I highly recommend this issue. And not because I'm biased, because I live in Nebraska and I was born in Iowa, but you know, Midwest. Oh hey, checking in again. Ooh, my laundry, my washer is being very loud down there, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. But just checking in, um, finally off work, going to hopefully finish the second sleeve. I'm so, so close. I have about three more inches of stockinette and then about two and a half inches of the ribbing for the cuff. It's so close. I can totally power through tonight. Uh, but that is my plan, hoping to get it off the needles so I can start Advent projects. But it's so bizarre that my kids are all grown up, growing up. Um, they have jobs, and my daughter is on the makeup crew for the theater, and it is officially show week, so shows start Thursday. Um... She is doing all the makeup for that. So she's having some long, long nights after school to prepare and get everything set up and ready. So really, it's just me and my knitting and the cat and dog until my husband decides to get home from work. Um, and when that happens, I'll likely make something small for dinner just for the two of us. I'm still trying to get used to cooking for two um, now that the kids are usually doing their own thing. But... Yeah, I think something small, feeling some grilled cheese, maybe a grilled cheese sandwich sounds delicious. Uh, so maybe something like that. And then, like I said, my goal tonight is to finish the sleeve. And then tomorrow we rock. We rock on Advents. So that is where I'll leave you and I'll see you guys tomorrow.